everybody. Welcome to Fashion Friday. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Hope you're on your second or third one of these. This is my third. So I'm going to talk today about something that I was thinking about it last night. And I've been doing this series on my style squad, which I'll get to that at the end of the video. Um, Bo's joining us today on this Friday. She's feeling, she has a lot of feelings about the subject. So I was thinking about the real root of all style problems. I'm doing this series called Style Symptoms over in my style squad. And we're talking about the, the most common style problems. So like you wear your clothes too baggy or you wear them too tight. Um, we're talking today about like leading with your sexuality in a negative way when it comes to the way you dress and present yourself. We're talking about all these things and there is kind of a common denominator in all of the problems that we're seeing. It's, um, and I kind of had this realization last night. So I wrote it down. I woke up in the middle of the night and like wrote this down on my notebook that I keep next to my bed. So the real root of all style problems. So I have nothing to wear. I don't know what my personal style is. I just wear whatever Instagram people tell me to do, all this stuff. It's not knowing who you are as a person. That sounds vague and it sounds broad and it sounds like really woo woo and it is a little bit, but hear me out on this. So when you think about who you are and you think about how you want to show up in the world by the way you dress, if you're not really aware of who you are as a person, that's gonna be even more difficult to accomplish. Like last night, Yesterday was a weird day for me. Yesterday was not the best day in general. And I knew exactly what I needed to take care of myself. So my version of self-care was um, watching the Dave Clark Five and the Herman's Hermits movies. Um, for those of you that are not 70, they're like this, these 60s pop bands that did really cheesy movies. I also like go to the Brady Bunch and I put on this stuff because it's something that resonates with me and always has. When I was eight, I watched the Brady Bunch. I didn't watch Nickelodeon. There's just something in my soul that resonates with that kind of stuff. And even then, like I was designing my own Halloween costumes and I was sketching out wedding dresses. Like I've always been into old stuff and fashion. And the problem is a lot of people take what they have that brought them joy as a child and they kind of shut that thing up. So, you know, for me, I have always kind of dressed a little differently. It's definitely toned down the older I've gotten. You just saw that I'm still wearing my pajama pants. So I'm keeping it real on here. Um, so I've always kind of, you know, dressed in a weird way. And the only time that I've ever felt like not happy and not confident in who I am as a person is right around like early 2000s where I decided that I wanted to dress like Britney Spears and I wore um, trucker hats and juicy couture track suits and I just did not feel like my best self and it's really funny because once high school hit something clicked in me where I'm like I don't give a crap if you guys think I'm cool if you guys like me I'm showing up the way I want to show up and people made fun of me and they thought that I was weird and the jokes on them because I dress people for a living now but I want you to think back on what brought you happiness as a child and that is deeply rooted in what you like who you ended up being who you ended up becoming I want you to also think about this. This is also a really, not a bad sign, but it's a sign that I'm gonna have my work cut out for me when a client of mine doesn't spend any time alone. I spend a lot of time alone. I work for myself. I work from home most time, like most of the days. I know what makes me happy. I know what makes me comfortable. I know what brings me joy. And a lot of people that don't spend any time alone don't know that because they haven't been given the opportunity to explore that side of themselves. When I'm dealing with an artist who's having a difficult time, you know, being pulled in different directions or maybe changing genres, it's because they're not sure in themselves and they allow other people, management, stage moms are the worst, um, you know, all kinds of people to pull them in different directions because they don't feel like they know themselves and they're at their center. So who you are at your center is going to then help you express who you are outside and not being in touch with that leads to a lot of issues it leads to a lot of issues in um, dressing in ways that are age inappropriate like maybe you're dressing like you were when you were 16 and you're 50 that's a problem because you're not evolving you're not sure who you are at your core and you don't know how to evolve that person um, i've taken what i loved from when i was a kid what i wore in my early 20s and i've evolved it to be the same thing but to be more a little more sophisticated because late 20s. Um, I'm doing the things that make me feel 
like I'm being represented. And if you don't know who that person is, you're going to have a very difficult time going to the closet and picking out something that makes you happy. A lot of people that are just regular people that aren't, aren't musicians might have a difficult time because of something a mom said or something a spouse said or something that a girlfriend said to you or maybe you think that you have to look like everybody else on the internet. I don't know about you guys, but I'm 28 this year, I'll be 29. I remember a time where I had to actively seek out other people's outfits. I was a fashion blogger, so I was in a fashion blogger community. Um, but it was very uh, rare. I, I didn't even have a smartphone, but now you can go through your smartphone and you see all these people and they have better outfits than you or they're wearing something. That's why influencers exist because they influence you to buy more stuff. Why do you think Gucci, Dior, all these big brands reach out to these influencers with some really ugly stuff and the next thing you know, everyone has to have it. It's because you're being influenced because you're not sure who you are as a person. I will use this as a very like vague way of expressing this. I know what I like. I know my body type. So if you don't know your body type, you can join my email list and I'll send you over a quiz. There's actually 16 different body types. If you don't know your body type, if you don't know your, your age demographic, if you don't know your, uh, how you're supposed to dress for your job, if you don't know who you are as an artist, there's so many different factors that can play into this. Um, if you don't know who you are as a person, mind, body, and spirit, it's going to be very difficult to get dressed in the morning. And you're going to end up spending a lot of money on crap that doesn't make you feel good. There's a few artists, and I'm sure that you guys can think of some when I mentioned that I won't have to call out any names, that have recently done an evolution or they've done a brand change, which is not uncommon. People evolve. They're allowed to change. I mean, my favorite band's The Beatles. They changed a lot. But you know when you see an artist and you just see they're doing a rebrand and you know it's not who they are as a person, that is when you're picking up, your BS meter's going off. People genu like generally have a pretty good BS detector and they know when something is genuine versus not genuine. So, you know, the boho stuff's really big right now. The free people, um, flares are back. So I'm buying up all the flares that I can now because that's all I really like to wear. Um, that's big right now. But then, you know, you see a girl in like a Led Zeppelin t-shirt and a pair of flare pants and you're like, oh, you don't actually know anything about that band. You think Led Zeppelin is a person. Um, people can pick up on that. And it's really funny because I always think about this one story. I was in a bar in Nashville and I was with um, some old former friends of mine. And one of my friends that was with me, he's like, man, that girl's really hot. She's got a stone shirt on. And I looked at her and I kind of like sussed her up and down. And I said, okay, I'll go talk to her. I'll go see if she's, you know, genuine. Because for a lot of people that are music fans, it's really important to us. I always kind of relate it to like, if you're a religious person and you see someone wearing a cross and they're actually an atheist, it's like ugh, false advertising. So I went over to this girl and I was like, hey, like your shirt, what's your favorite record? And she goes, I just like the shirt at Target. I don't even know any Stone songs. And I could pick up on that because it, there, she just was not carrying herself in a way that made me feel like, oh, you actually know what you're doing. And it's not like a, it is judgy, but humans are judgy people. Like we're judgy creatures. People know when it's genuine versus when it's not. I relate it back to, I actually, um, also another funny thing, girlfriend of mine and I were out at a bar eight or nine years ago. And she goes, oh, that guy looks really important. He's got like a Gucci belt and some loafers on. And I looked at him and I said, his, his suit's not tailored. This guy is just a guy that bought you know, some fake Gucci stuff off eBay. Like, that's all it is. I went over to him and I talked to him. Turns out, lives in his parents' basement. Like, there's just a way that you carry yourself when you feel 100% confident with what you're wearing and you feel like it represents yourself. And most people can smell when that is not the case. So in my group, what I've been doing is I'm talking about, the first thing was you're wearing stuff that's too baggy. That comes from not knowing that you can be a confident and attractive person and just hiding because there's someone that told you in your past that you're too fat or too ugly or too this or too that. I also talked about people that were wearing clothes that are way too tight and what that means. It means they don't actually know themselves and they're leading with something else. So there's so many different ways of looking at it, but ultimately the core of all of these problems is not knowing who you are as a person. 
So in order to help you figure that out, I want to ask you a few questions. When you are depressed and you want to cheer yourself up and no one is around to judge you, what do you do? What do you dance? Do you write? Do you sing? Do you listen to a certain kind of music? Do you watch a movie over and over again? What do you do when no one's looking? What brings you joy when nobody's looking? That's going to be the first sign of who you actually are as a person. Like last night, I watched a bunch of really cheesy, bad 60s movies, and it made my heart so happy that I was able to get up and get dressed this morning. What helps you get up out of bed so then you can go look at your closet? And if you genuinely don't know, then before you bring a stylist onto your team or before you hire someone to help you, you need to figure that out first and foremost. I have turned people away because I thought you genuinely do not know yourself as a person, which means you will not know yourself as an artist and you will be swayed in a million different directions. So that is my little coffee spiel for the day. And if this is something that resonates with you, you don't have to post it here, but send me a message and just kind of see like, what's going on. I've, I've, se- I've dealt with so many people over the last 11 years of doing this that I've seen this pattern over and over and over again. When someone comes to me and they're going through a life change or they're going through a weight gain or weight loss, they don't have that sense of self as the foundation before anything. I'm the same person on the inside that I was when I was 200 pounds. I'm the same person on the inside that I was when I was 15. I just have matured and have learned from those things, but I'm still the same person here. If you don't have that core base, you're going to be SOL. It doesn't matter if you fit in these jeans or if you don't fit in the jeans. It doesn't matter if I help you put together a capsule closet or if I design you the greatest jacket for tour. If you don't know who this is, then it's not going to resonate with other people and it's definitely not going to resonate with you. So that was my little Oprah spiel for the day. You guys saw I still have my pajama pants on, so I'm going to deal with that and clean my house and do some stuff today. But hope that was helpful. Hope that was something that resonated with you. And I will talk to you guys next week. Until then, you guys know the drill. You wear it well. Bye.